with whom we have organized uh, this uh, forum. We gathered over 60 delegations, including the United Nations and the African Union, and the main partners in the Horn of Africa and in the Red Sea region. And together we have agreed on joint commitments in key areas of inclusive politics, peace and security, and economic development for Somalia. We have seen incredible progress, and I think we have to all comment uh, the President and his government for this. They have shown great determination in uh, very difficult circumstances uh, to implement a reform agenda that is really uh, an impressive one. Uh, the European Union have always stood by Somalia's side as partners, as friends for the government and for the people of the country, from security and peace building to helping deliver emergency humanitarian aid during times of need. And today I announced uh, uh, two additional support uh, to Somalia. One is 200 million euros to support, uh, in particular, the inclusive politics agenda and the economic recovery agenda of the government. And the second announcement I was glad to, uh, to do and actually to sign uh, is uh, an additional 114.2 uh, million euros to support uh, uh, AMISOM, the African uh, peacekeeping mission in Somalia that, as you know, the European Union has supported uh, since the beginning with 1.56 billion euros. Uh, beyond that, we also have, as the European Union, three security missions and operations active in the country. So we are supporting both the economic, the political and the security agenda for the country. We will continue to do so. And I conclude by saying that it's good with all the different things in the world that don't necessarily go in the right direction to see a new hope in Somalia, as we see a new hope in the Horn of Africa with the developments between Eritrea and Ethiopia, and we are there to support this with so hope and your brave and uh, uh, determined work uh, for the Somali people. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have had two days of deliberation on politics, economy, security, and development cooperation between Somalia and our partners. The aim of this uh, Somali partnership Forum is to take stock of our progress and mobilize commitment towards meaningful partnership and chart a path for a comprehensive cooperation in development and investment. Since the London Conference in May last year, we have achieved much of the deliverable and objectives that uh, we have uh, set for ourselves. We have uh, formulated a transition plan for security. It's a framework that is central to achieving a transition of primary security responsibilities from the African mission of Somalia to Somali security forces. Our economy is on the mend. And I'm glad uh, to share with you that uh, our government institutions established a sound framework uh, for our microeconomic stability, which will ultimately lead us to a stable economy and uh, would be a driving for factor for Somalia to uh, qualify for a debt relief. Over the years, recurring natural disasters have uh, had enormous effects on us. We have now developed uh, the, re the resilience and recovery framework as the implementation component of our national development plan. This will uh, advance efforts, respond effectively, protect and improve the resilience of our Somali families, communities, and institutions. I'm glad that the federal government of Somalia is committed to expedite the process of adopting the, con the Convention of Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. I thank uh, the EU and Sweden uh, for co-hosting uh, this uh, partnership forum from Somalia. Somalia is dedicated to fully implementing all the deliverables and objectives of this forum. We set ourselves new benchmarks and timelines. Somalia remain committed to accountability. Thank you. Thank you very much.